At this point, we've dug pretty deep into compound interest. We can derive the compound interest formula. We know what compound interest looks like on a graph, that is, exponential growth. We can solve for A, that is, the amount owed at the end of a loan. We can rearrange the formula and solve for the principal P. And we can also rearrange, a bit more rearranging, to solve for the interest rate R. So what's left? Now, some of you bright math students will be asking, well, can we solve for the T, the time, in a compound interest formula? Let's consider that question. Now, from a hacking style point of view, we could certainly solve for T. We could do trial and error until we found a T that made the equation true. Or we could go back to making a table and just keep making the table until we get to a row that we're looking for. So yes, there is a way to solve for T. Not very elegant. Mathematicians love elegant algebraic methods. So the question, can we algebraically solve for T? If you look at your calculator, you'll see a log button. Once you understand how to use this function and manipulate logarithms, then you can solve algebraically for t. If you haven't learned about logarithms yet, then just consider this video as a way to help put it all in perspective. If you're familiar with logarithms, then you're set to continue and solve for problems that require an algebraic solution for t.